The Witcher had traveled far and wide in search of the Kingslayers. Along the way, he had met both the righteous and scoundrels, Bernard Lerito amongst the latter. Lerito sold Flotsam to Kedwin and scattered the local non-humans to the Four Winds. Flotsam became a military base. Its civilian population was resettled. In Edern, the Witcher witnessed Saskia the Dragon Slayer achieve a great victory. The Pontar Valley, previously Upper Edern, became a promised land for outcasts who dared dream of freedom. Even sly old Zoltan Chive came to believe in this land of bliss. Yet dark times approached for the architects of the New Order. Dark clouds had been gathering over Temeria since Voltest's death. Stripped of its king, the land was like a rich cloth which nobles began to shred. These minor scavengers, however, scurried off in fear when true predators reached out for their prize. The summit at Loch Muin sealed the fate of Fultest's realm, when Radovid of Redania and Henselt of Kedwin divided it between them. Years before, Geralt of Rivia had witnessed the fall of the council and conclave of mages. The summit in Loch Muin re-established both bodies. Their founders sacrificing Sheila de Tanzerville and her accomplices. Yet Radovid also required humility and loyalty from the proud mages but this did not sit well with all of them. It was a time of great uncertainty, of rape accomplished by royal decree. Yet as troubled as the day seemed, we who had in some way shaped the world's fate finally received some respite. Zoltan resumed the quest for his beloved's hand and I laid my head in the laps of the muses. Who could have known this tempest which had ravaged the north was but a harbinger of darker days and the preamble to an entirely new tale of Geralt of Rivia. <laughs>